punish. Queen turns a deaf ear to Meghan's pleas as firmly passes Duchess ultimate roles to Kate. The Queen was warned by royal experts to avoid passing or swapping roles between Meghan Markle and Kate, the Duchess of Cambridge. The Queen was advised passing on the roles Meghan Markle vacated when she stepped down to Kate, the Duchess of Cambridge could spark too many comparisons between the pair. The Duchess of Cambridge is believed to be under consideration to be given additional titles to cover the vacancies the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, as well as the Duke of York, created after stepping down. Kate is said to be in line to become the new patron of the National Rugby Union, taking over from Harry, and the Grenadier Guards signaled they would be happy to welcome the Duchess as their new colonel after Prince Andrew. Pod Save the Queen host Zoe Fawcy said, My thought is that if Kate was to take on any of Meghan's patronages, same with William and Harry. For example, Meghan was patron of the Royal National Theatre. Wasn't she? There'd be so many comparisons being made if they were handed over directly and swapped between, wouldn't they? Whereas I guess Kate taking on from Andrew, it's such a different role for her, such a different royal and someone with such a different position in the royal family, feels like it would be more of a fresh start rather than taking over, and everyone saying, okay. Kate's having to pick up that, which I think is quite interesting. And they try to give the military titles to members of the family who have served. Meanwhile, Meghan Markle gets a bad rap in the British press, whereas people across the pond in the US tend to like her more. Whether this is because Markle is from the US, or because Americans don't adore the royal family or the idea of monarchies, her and Prince Harry's ratings continue to fluctuate in both countries. Akin to her ratings, Markle's relationships with the rest of the royal family are strained. Markle has openly said the royal family was constantly berating her when in England with Harry, and the two ultimately left the UK and moved to the US because of this. Now, Markle's familial connections might be even more strained. According to Vanity Fair, Markle's relationship with Kate Middleton, the Duchess of Cambridge, was greatly worn when Markle left the royal family. Everything with Harry and Meghan has been hugely stressful, but if anything, it's pulled, her and William, closer together, a royal insider revealed to people after Markle and Harry's breakout interview with Oprah Winfrey. According to the source, Middleton, was upset about it because, William, was so upset. Seeing her husband so distraught was tough. Markle and Middleton are both wives to a British prince, but many of the comparisons between the two can be boiled down to misogyny. Still, some just want to know why Markle and Middleton can't be close, or why Middleton hasn't openly supported Markle in the British press. Here's what we know. In March 2021, Observer reported that Meghan Markle and Kate Middleton hadn't talked in over a year. However, now we know that's not the case. Middleton celebrated her 48th birthday this month, and she spoke privately with Markle and Prince Harry on a video call on her special day. This appears to be a step in the right direction for the pair, though it's hard to tell what this means for Middleton and Markle's future. According to a source, the royal family rarely releases statements, so when they do, it's often over something important. However, statements about Middleton have been lax in recent years, including one from Kensington Palace clarified rumours about Middleton getting Botox, whereas Markle has not received the same level of support. Additionally, the TikTok user's video explains how it's contradictory for Middleton and Prince William to paint themselves as advocates for mental health while knowing the often racist articles written about Markle affected her mental health, as well as her relationship with Harry. Health. 